Captain's log, Earth date 2012-08-18. Um, our, we've been on our trek for about five years and we're boldly going hey, where uh, no- Brandon, I thought it's been like five months. Wait, has it only been like five weeks? Dude, dude, no, it hasn't even been five hours yet. Really? Not even, yeah, about an hour and a half we've been on this so trek. All right, fine, well, I guess uh, we've been on our trek for about an hour and a half. I'm thinking about like 30 to 45. Uh, about 45. Min, min, menu, minuets. We will be, uh, We'll be at our second performance location at a uh, Gen Con. <laughs> hey, Mitch. Well, yeah, man. What's going on? No, it's nothing, man. You uh, you all right, man? You, you ready for our performance at our at our second like our second performance, man? Woo. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm stoked and all, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're kind of missing a Doctor Who marathon on BBC uh, America right now. Yeah, I could see why that'd be that'd be kind of unfortunate. Just because, you know, potential to, you know, have have more knowledge of Doctor Who to, to write more songs. Alright, it's a story I wrote in high school. Sci-fi story. About aliens and the planet Earth being a controlled experiment by aliens to see how different species evolve and how they treat the planet they're on. That's why the dinosaurs went extinct because they were down here and they observed them for billions of years and so then they decided to kill them off and put a more advanced species down, which would be the humans. So they put us here to see how we deal with everything. And then in a couple billion years they're probably going to kill us off and put even more and more advanced species on the planet to observe them, which is why there are reports of Columbus seeing bright lights in the sky when he was coming over here and other explorers that see bright lights. There's even Indians that have carvings about aliens. And what that is is them just coming down here and observing us to see what's going on and taking, you know, readings and shit. So there are a couple, either that or they're going to kill us off before the billions of years because we're going to destroy the planet and they don't want us to do that. So that, that's pretty much the whole story. It's where we are a controlled experiment done by an alien species, which is why we have UFO sightings, because they're here observing us, as a, with the dinosaurs. The end. <laughs> so we got to Indy, to Gen Con 2012. Met a sci-fi enthusiast and writer who took some pictures of the zombie car, and later took some pictures of us performing and put them on a Gen Con Facebook. We parked in an expensive garage. And grabbed a hotel card to load stuff in. Wandered around the convention a bit. Saw some interesting costumes and lots of lines. Also saw a Klingon folk band covering Deep Purple. Then, we saw a Dalek, and of course, as usual, oh, it actually, like, the Dalek started looking for the doctor. He found him, and they had a showdown. Then the doctor tried to make amends with the Dalek. Dalek didn't really like that. And the Dalek didn't really like us either. A really cool band from Atlanta played after us. They're called Pillage and Plunder. After walking around Gen Con for a bit, some jugglers started walking around Larry. Box. Oh yeah. Keep staying there. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one step towards Joe. Long pass. Ready? <laughs> I'm like in the middle of some mortified. He's like. Can I smoke? Is it cool if I smoke? I'm scared for it. Wow, that awesome? Well, we went to Gen Con. 
We saw some sexy girls. We saw some sci-fi. We didn't see any sexy sci-fi girls. So I gotta say, overall, it's kind of fake. It was a pleasure to burn. It was a special pleasure to see things eaten, to see things blackened and changed. With a brass nozzle in his fists, with this great python spitting its venomous kerosene upon the world, the blood pounding in his head, and the hands were the hands of some amazing conductor, laying on the symphonies and blazing and burning to bring down the chanters and charcoal ruins of history. With this symbolic helmet, Numbered 451 out of Scarlet Day, and his eyes all over the flame with the thought about what came next. He flipped the igniter, and the house jumped up in a gorging fire that burned the evening sky red and yellow and black. He strode in a swarm of fireflies. He wanted above all of the old joke to show the marshmallow on the stick of the furnace while the flapping pity ring of books died in the porch and long of the house. When the bugs went up in a sparkling world that blew our way out of wind to duck with burning at 232 You know, this video's kind of missing something. Hmm. Ah, Mike Patton. Fuck Mike Patton. <laughs>